Hey, what's up travelers? I welcome you in this little video of mine. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, today we will be discussing about a lady who's got Venus in Libra. Now this is in the sun sign. It's really the Venus placement, which kind of like relates more to relationships and love. And this might be a more special video. Well, ah! Because, you know, Venus is the natural ruler of Libra, so a lot of the characteristics of Venus are interchangeable or they're really kind of like on the same wavelength as the characteristics of Libra. Now, um, if you're dealing with a lovely lady who's got Venus in Libra, um, and actually, I must say, like, I'm kind of like not conflicted, but I'm not really sure how I want to approach this energy and how I want to present it to you guys. Because as much as it's like a cardinal sign that kind of like initiates on a certain vision, they're really about balancing uh, balancing the relational aspects of things on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And this is really Libra. But when they got Venus in there, it's like through their relationships, they're going to um, kind of like... They're going to scale everything and there might be this indecisiveness as to what they want to initiate on being also opposite to Aries, which is really about charging head on into something. So when I'm presenting that energy, you know, I'm always kind of like, it's not like I'm trying to enact the energy, but I often connect myself to it. So when I do that, I kind of get to have like the Libra energy and I'm not really sure about how I want to initiate because I'm always trying to balance and just me explaining it like that is kind of like the Libra energy trying to make sure that the relational aspects of things are really communicated because it's an air sign and that they're valued intellectually in the past, the present and the future because air kind of makes the link between everything, you know, everything, <laughs> everything. Um, so yeah, to, to me, in a sense, Libra is kind of like the the librarian are of the archives, you know, they kind of like analyze in a certain sense with the, and you know, they sense stuff and it's really an air sign. So they're going to know the fragrance of something. They're going to know really the, what, what kind of air you're putting on, you know, they're, well, at least they might not know intuitively. And this is mainly about Libra, but you know, Venus and Libra, since Venus is the natural ruler of Libra, they might share a lot of, um, the actual characteristics between one another. So, um, you know, um, so they're gonna, they're gonna analyze si systems, especially because Saturn is exalted in there. Um, so they're gonna analyze systems like that. But the, it's not going to be as much from like an intuitive plane of understanding or an intuitive plane of uh, awareness. And it says it intuitive. And, you know, as much as Libra is a yin sign, a sign, uh, it is also of the air element, you know, so it is of a masculine polarity. So they're going to through a masculine energy, through an initiation, through them initiating on a certain wind current, they're going to harmonize with their own feminine Venusian view. And when you put Venus in there, it means that in their relationships, they're really going to um, value, if you want, the... Um, well, I guess I could approach this from many perspectives, but I could say they're going to value someone who can take charge, keyword charge, because the opposite sign of Libra is Aries. And Aries might lack a certain decisiveness, you know. Um, this is, I don't know if I pronounced that right. But, you know, they're going to lack a certain um, will to charge into something without consideration. So in a relationship, they're probably going to value someone who's able to really um, charge ahead on into something. Or someone who's able to take a decision that is aligned with their own truth, you know. Because... If you're, if you are just acting from your own sense of truth, you don't really need to trouble yourself too much with the consideration of things. You can just go with the flow and eventually the truth will get out. So, uh, but you know, the, the kind of like the, the, um, 
the work I could say or like what really Libra is here to do as far as a sign is being able to kind of like handle the archives of the world be the the librarians you know so they're gonna do a lot of the mental work they're always trying to correlate stuff to one another and kind of create this scientific systems and always trying to kind of it's like it comes from the energy of Virgo just before so they have the pro the power of refinement and it's not quite in Scorpio yet so they can they can kind of see things through rose color glasses because they're not really diving too deep into the actual psychic matter of things but at the same time it enables them through their intellect to really rationalize or trying to you know it's like you could say something to a Libra and they don't even fully know the extent of what you're saying but they could be waiting like this weighing the scales in their mind and being like yeah that's true yeah yeah but it's like how do you even know you're not really accessing it from like an intuitive principle as much or maybe you are but it's truly based basing it off your intellect you know so they're really smart like the, the way i could kind of see like venus and libra it's like this this cute little, maybe not cute little, but you know, it's like the Venusian energy. So it's it might not look as imposing and menacing. Of course, a lot of people with like Venus and Libra could have like strong Scorpio or Leo energy or, you know. Um, but the way I personally perceive uh, Venus in Libra, especially with all my Marsh, Martian energy, um, I got Mars in the first house. Um, is that it's kind of like this cute or this lovely, I should say, librarian, like reading a book with like her glasses, like uh, under a tree, like in a fall of like, a, you know, like a not so cold town, you know, just when the, like the wind breeze is kind of like ooh, blowing and you can kind of smell something good in the air and like she's just maybe alone by herself in the park reading her book with like her little glasses on but at the same time she's like able to if you come in up to her if you're talking to her she will be open to like the discussion and she will try to size you up and balance who you are what you want out of the interaction um what kind of will you got um, you know, I mean, we all do this on a certain level, especially when analyzing someone from the other sex or like a potential partner, I should say. Um, but she's really going to do it in like an intellectual way. She might be asking you a question. She's going to analyze how you yourself relate on a one on one basis with things she relates to so that she could really uh, put you up like no the, the weight or like no so she could balance you and know where to put you as far as like how to equate you to what she really uh, values herself. So as I was saying earlier, or perhaps I didn't say it because I'm, I'm on like the second or third take of this video. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're really indec indecisive as to, well, they can be because at one point they have to initiate, you know, because it's a cardinal sign that initiates fall. But fall, when, when Libra kicks in, um, you know, the, the, the sun is actually aligned with the celestial equator. So the days and night are equal. Um, so really, it's all about that balance and that scaling. So as much as like they're going to initiate on something at some point, they always have to kind of show you the two sides of the coin. And at one point, it could make them so diplomatic or so they could compromise a lot as to what they at first wanted because they just tell themselves, oh, but actually it, it could be done like that. It could be done like that, like that. And I think they don't really mind just compromising like that or being a diplomat. But at the same time, as I say in any video, well, most videos at least, uh, about the Venus sign, sorry about that. Um, um, if if Libra wants, if you want to balance an energy from one sign, you have to look at the energy, especially of the sign opposite to it and the signs that are square to it. So Libra really 
will be able to balance herself through the energy of Aries, which just is this masculine asserting, asserting the self um, and charging head on to it and initiating on a certain vision, initiating on a certain fire, whereas she will always try to be initiating on a certain compromise or initiating on a certain harmony in the relational aspect of things and at the same time she could look at the cardinal signs of capricorn and cancer so that she could see the earthy structure of things the earthy um, pyramid and how it's built and understand the the emotional watery sustenance and nurturing uh, architect architecture if you want of the soul of cancer but really, she's going to enjoy someone who can initiate on a certain realm, especially of the fire sign of Aries, I would say. But at the same time, it could kind of shut off what she feels she can bring. Because when you're dealing with a polarity, it's, it's hard to reunite them both together. And when you reunite energies of a polarity together, oftentimes it will either be one side or the other. Or you can calculate the midpoint uh, and kind of see where the energy will lead. So let's say you're mixing Aries with Libra. The energy that will result from it often will be a Capricornian energy or a Cancerian energy. But you really have to calculate the point that is exactly in the middle of two placements to get the, you know, the interaction as far as an aspect goes. And this works especially well for oppositions and squares. And yeah, pretty much. It, it could work also if you're looking at like a, a trine, because the midpoint in between a trine is actually two sextiles. So that's called a talent triangle. But it's it's stronger with like harder aspects. But anyhow, this is a really good video about aspect patterns. But, you know, um, that's me explaining the relational way of things because I'm connecting to the Libra energy. So really astral for bros connecting back to that train of thought. Um, if you want, like she's going to value, first of all, you can't, she's really intelligent. She's not, well, the way she relates to stuff isn't so much an, an emotional or like it will, she will definitely be emotional as every human is. But the way she relates on a one on one basis to you especially if she's forming a certain partnership with you is really going to be she's gonna analyze with her intellect uh whether you can take charge with her in your assertiveness you are balanced as to how she sees it um you know like venus and Lee like i, I can't uh, <laughs> i don't want to talk too much about that but it kind of had f I had fun a little bit with a Venus in Libra, like I had a good friend, let's say, with Venus in Libra. And like she would say things like, oh, you're so brave or you're really courageous. And I'd be like, what? Like, I, I don't know. I wasn't, you know, so she, I feel like she's going to scale things. But as much as like air is trying to be objective, she's really going to do it from her own subjective plane. And I mean, that's kind of like the bias of the human experience, you know, um, but this is why you also really can't adapt yourself to her because she's, well, you got to be yourself, man, because she's really going to, um, like, you, you could try to be the fairest, the fairest in the way that you think she will see it, but really she's, the way she, her scales work isn't how you think they do. She, she's got to scale you as far as your own you know like it's like the libra energy has like this power of feeling how the universe is at scale with something this power of you know everything is kind of like magical in a sense but let me just let me just do my venus and aquarius guy like i am and just drink some of my tea So yeah, I usually tell, I don't know, I feel like it's uh, it's hard for me to really tell you how Venus and Libra is because they're, as much as they're a dual, I, I mean, as much as like they're a cardinal sign, there is this duality to them because they balance stuff. So they, you know, 
it's like the cardinal aspect of it comes after they have interpreted the the duality of things and it makes sense also because gemini is the first mutable sign of the zodiac but it's also the first air sign so the when air energy has gotten to the second sign of libra it has already understood or it's already at least went through the energy of gemini that balances uh, i'm mixing stuff up the energy of gemini that really understands the duality of things and how to analyze it with the mind so libra is all about initiating with that comprehension of the duality but they're still using the gemini energy they're just initiating on the sense of balance that they can make out of it so if you want to go and and make your relation flourish with um with a venus and libra i would say that first of all libra being i don't know how long this video is libra being the <laughs> it's probably really too long but anyway uh, the energy you know it's linked to fall so if you're able to be spring if you're able to be winter or if you're able to be summer in your energy you're gonna bring a certain perspective of the polarity or of the spectrum that she might appreciate um, if you're able to take charge if you're able to make her value her own decisions i repeat that make her value make her value her own decisions make her value her own decisions um, she might really benefit from that she might be like oh no i can't do it you don't need to tell me to but really just you being yourself and you being assertive of what you feel is right as long as it's aligned with your own inner truth is going to show to her that she doesn't always need to compromise and that sometimes the balance is that she must choose she must initiate on her own sense of self and really she maybe she might feel that like she's it's not the right thing or she wants everything to be pleasant between everyone but sometimes the same kind of like feeling will be in another sometimes i don't always want to choose sometimes i want you to choose something so to truly be the scale you have to assert your own wants you have to use a certain martian energy and be like okay no this is what i want this is what i'm going to do this is my intention this is my will this is what passionates me because if you're always compromised and i'm kind of speaking to Venus and libra if you're always compromising with what someone else wants the scale is going to be off because you also have a weight to put as far as the balancing of stuff so be able be someone who's able to really value her own sense of compromise but you also have to know when to step in yourself because she's often going to wait for you to initiate on something she's often she's gonna act almost like um like you know she's gonna remain she's gonna have an air of openness she might be so open also in her everyday life in her everyday life that you might not really notice when she's open to you because just the way she relates to everything you know venus in the sign that it rules just the way that she relates to everything she's going to be open to it she's always going to try to compromise about stuff she's always going to show a certain intellectual uh, openness so you, you, mm, i don't want to say stuff like this but sometimes you you have to kind of like make a small move with venus and libra just to sh see if she's really open in a certain way to you i'm not saying to be brutal i'm not saying to cross a boundary that she put that's not it but at least to me it, it feels like it's kind of hard to like i had like a venus and libra interested in me but i you know apparently she flirted with me like all an evening and like someone like another girl came after it's like hey she was flirting with you all evening i was like really she was flirting i didn't even notice and usually like i i i notice stuff i mean so i guess what i'm trying to say by that is that venus and libra they can be so compromising and so just open to something that they don't really 
go and use a Martian energy to tease. So they're gonna value if you can wake that up in her, and she's gonna value if you have this for yourself. But this is really a basic way of saying it. Um, now she's of course gonna value um, kind of like fire signs because there is this natural expression of the will with fire that she might have to work on or that she might be able to use to implement her own sense of balancing you know because she's the librarian but she might need a dude to collect the the late fees so to speak or something like that you know um, she might value air signs which aren't as much attached but as as you know um as as much as like Venus and Gemini and Venus and Aquarius, they can kind of like almost not want to be brought down to the density of a relationship. Um, Libra, they they can value this very much. It can value a monogamous relationship a lot, and they can maybe because they really understand the one-on-one -on -one principle of things, so they understand the value of the of the one-on-one -on -one exchange and. Ref refining that because it comes from Virgo and really understanding the self that comes from Leo and ta 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 but they're the and you know because like Saturn is exalted in Libra so they understand the structure through time of something so they, they, they as much as like they're an air sign they might not be as flaky they might actually enjoy like a serious relationship but, you know, they might get along well with other air signs, which is what I was going to say. Um, because there is a certain sense of freedom, of thought at least, that comes with Gemini and Aquarius, so she might vibe with that. But a lot of the actual relationships that last for a long time are those with harder aspects. So uh, Aries, Cancer and Capricorn, because they're all initiating on a different element, being cardinal signs starting the seasons, meaning... Um, they're all starting a certain flow of energy, cancer, water, starting a certain air current, a certain thought, a certain balancing principle with air in Libra, initiating a, on the sense of the whole and a sense of the structure of things and a sense of the earthly, earthly steps to take in Capricorn and initiating on the power of the self of Aries. She's going to derive a lot of value from the cardinal signs also um that's pretty much it but uh, you know every every kind of every kind of aspect can be fruitful to the unfoldment of balance and to the unfoldment of the psyche but usually in relationships if the venus to one person is not aspecting anything really in your chart it just means that like there won't really be that much of a relationship in that sense at least you know um so uh, i usually let me just drink a little bit more of my green green tea jasmine and licorice root tea i love that shit Woo. um yeah so I usually say like a, a gift you should, you could give to um, Venus and Libra. Just give her some of your fire. Enable her to prosper in how she builds systems. Be interested in her openness. And bring her on journeys that challenges her sense of harmony. Make her... Allow her to assert her own will. And I mean, you know, giving a gift to like an air sign, it, it doesn't need to be necessarily physical. It doesn't necessarily need to be passionate. It doesn't necessarily need to strike in the watery realms. Of course, everybody's got other placements also, which you could correlate to cool gifts to give of the other elements. But really, a gift that values the thoughts <laughs> of an air sign a gift that values that shows that even though you can be harsh and brutal in your fiery nature that you're also kind of like aiming for a balance like she is 
So that's what I had to say about Venus and Libra. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the video wasn't too long. And um, tuning out.